Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the upgrade SBCs that we could be seeing today and upgrades in general because yesterday was a crazy day for live cards. Yes, headliners and what if cards uh, got guaranteed upgrades that will be coming this Wednesday. Just like we had with Mbabu last week, we're going to have more upgrades coming this week. And a couple other players had crazy pl price fluctuations uh, because they almost got their upgrade, but not quite. I also just want to talk about, again, trading in this market as it is going down. Some stuff you want to look out for today into this week with Champions League games upcoming. And also how you can be trading and making some coins in the way the market as it is right now. And could we maybe see that guaranteed what if SBC today. I think that is possible that we could see one of those SBCs. Now, I did a little bit of trading last night. I bought the Sun today live on stream at 950. How about both these last night? 861 on this one and uh, 901 on this one. So I made a cheeky like I don't know what that is, even like 60K maybe between those two, if my math is correct. Uh, so we got about 100K right here. I tried out Regulon and Sun in my weekend league team for a game. That was fun. So that's kind of the only trading that I did in the last uh, day or so. But I want to talk about a couple of these guys that are guaranteed upgrades. And the first one we got to look at is an SBC that is actually still in the game. Now, yesterday we had Feyenoord, Feyenoord uh, playing their first game since this Leroy Fair SBC came out, right? This guy was released earlier this week, and a lot of people were like, yo, this is a pretty solid card. Should they, they score a lot of goals in the Air Divisie, and this should get upgraded over the course over the next five games. Well, today, Feyenoord decided to go out and score six goals in one game. They beat Venlo 6-0 today. 6-0 they beat Venlo. So, this Leroy Fair card is getting upgraded. Now, I saw this picture on Twitter. I don't know if this is legit or not, but this was in like an official video, I think, with Leroy Fair. So I don't know if EA has already decided what they're going to upgrade the card with, if it was like predetermined um, or whatever. But this could be what the card looks like with his upgrade. It's basically all plus twos except for plus three pace and plus three dribbling and plus three defense on this Leroy Fair card. So as it stands right now, this SBC according to Flippin is about 85,000 coins. And if you ever if you ever think you're gonna use this guy as a center back, honestly, imagine this guy with a plus two boost with the plus three pace defense uh, and dribbling, medium high work rates with that four star weak foot. I mean, this guy's gonna look even more ridiculous. I know the links aren't that great, but there's a level 15 player, Argentinian center back from Feyenoord, and as well, you've got Robin Kleiber, you got Promes, you got a lot of Air Divisi cards in the uh, milestone objectives and league objectives as well that you can link with this fair card. So, for a fun card to use, right, it doesn't have to be all the time using the most meta sweat tactics or whatever. For a fun card to use, that Leroy Fair could be really cool. And I do think that you will see some of those Air Divisi links maybe rise up a little bit into the week. So we're watching a few of those. Of course, that XBC expires in a couple of days, and that upgrade will happen on Wednesday, right? So Tavernier is another one that got upgraded today as Rangers finally got their four-win streak solved and completed uh, because, of course, they got to a... Well, I can't even show this card in the game because it's only an SBC, but this is one of the most popular right backs in the game. Uh, when his SBC came out, this is the second time the Rangers have gotten to almost four wins. This time they actually did get that fourth win. So this will go to an 87 on Wednesday, of course. And again, the upgrade time frame for when they actually upgrade these cards seems to be kind of revolving around with the new what if items. What they did last week with Mbabu was they upgraded him and like uh, headliner Holland was due an upgrade. They upgraded him about midnight to 1 a.m. UK time on Wednesday into Thursday morning. So that was the time frame that these got upgraded. Usually we headliners get upgraded like right away with the team of the week. So I don't know if there's anything fishy going on with EA for whatever reason um, last week. But hopefully this week, we'll see it right away at the 6 p.m. content drop on Wednesday, the upgrades for Tavernier, for um, Leroy Fair. And of course, we are still guaranteed an upgrade for Marcelo. He'll be getting upgraded on Wednesday. Now, again, we have some other situations that happened today where teams started off hot and they ended not, right? You had this Dortmund versus Bayern Munich today. Holland scored two goals in the second and the ninth minute for Dortmund to go up 2-0. 
to then have Lewandowski have a hat trick in a comeback win, 4-2. to two. So the Sancho card right now is sitting on five goals. His price went up like crazy, though. He was 1.2 mil before the game, went all the way up to about 1.32, 1.33, and then dropped down, of course, as Bayern Munich scored all those goals and came back and won. So right now, Sancho is sitting on five goals. Goals, right? Five goals. Their next game is this coming weekend. That'll be his next opportunity for him to get upgraded because, of course, only the league games count for these guys. And then also, we had Arsenal draw 1-1. So this Odegaard is on four goals. So the next game for Arsenal is this coming weekend as well with the North London Derby. So that's going to be a very interesting watch. As we get cards of these what-ifs very, very close to their upgrade, you can tell, there's, especially with the market being kind of dead right now, and there's a lot of people that have submitted coins to SBCs, and a lot of these guys have dropped in general. Um, during this week, I think it's almost 100% guaranteed that we get a guaranteed what if pack SBC coming out in the game. And that for me would be a time where for Sancho and for Odegaard, or maybe for a defender that you really feel like is going to get a clean sheet, or maybe you're going back in on Mbabu once they update the quality, right? Because right now you can't search for what if pluses, right? There's headliners, headliner streak. We need what if and the what if plus or what if streak, whatever they're going to call it. Once that gets added into the game, I do feel like Mbabu and the cards that get upgraded will not drop as much. I still think they'll drop when they get upgraded because there's so much you know investing that happens beforehand. So you'll want to sell on the hype. Um, but back to the original point, I think that for Sancho and for Odegaard, these guys will be players that people in FIFA invest in because they know they're getting close to the upgrade and they want to try to see if they can make some coins off of that potential upgrade. These guys will rise in the hype 100% guaranteed. But I was, what I was saying is when they drop that guaranteed pack this week, look for panic selling on these cards because of course... These are pretty popular. They're close to their upgrade. And this could be a great time to look for that panic selling and trying to find some big undercuts that you could then potentially buy and then wait till the weekend until they score that goal. And then their prices would go up. Now, of course, you're going to have to wait it out through like a promo Friday, whatever kind of promo is talk is coming out this next Friday, which people are talking about is like foot player days and stuff like that. But let's talk about a different type of upgrade, right? Let's talk about upgrade SBCs because that could be something that we see coming out in FIFA today as well. Since the 81 plus picks are gone and Sundays are usually our upgrade SBCs, I'm really curious to see what EA do today in terms of the content. Because again, these new what if players are only in packs until Wednesday, right? It's not a full two week promo. So we are expecting another type of promo to come out next Friday that will be different from what if, and it's not just one promo into the next. We're stopping early, probably a loading screen on Wednesday night or maybe Thursday to tell us whatever is coming on Friday. And we'll talk about that, of course, in the market outlook video tomorrow, maybe get into that theory a little bit more. But uh, I think if they're gonna drop upgrade SBCs, they'll drop them just for a couple days. I doubt they'll do the player picks again. Uh, what they did during Future Stars was they dropped the player picks first, then they dropped the um, 81 plus double upgrades because right now we do not have any upgrade packs uh, and the second team is only out for a few days so you don't have as much supply or hype for the second team i, I think the second team isn't even as, as hype as the first team in in any way shape or form uh, but i think we will get some sort of upgrade packs today because ea know that people in fifa love the upgrade packs and i think when they drop the upgrade packs they also might drop the guaranteed what if SBC. I do think that is something that we could see today. So I'm looking at a few of these cards right now that are very low. Thalvin was 330 today. Richarlison went from 1.2 last night all the way to 1.7, is now back to 1.5. Mertens, who I traded with last night, still a million coins. Ricardo Perea dropped big time. I mean, big time earlier today because, of course, Lester did not keep the clean sheet. So we went all the way up to 308 right before his game, and then boom, all the way down to 231. He's actually 220. I'm kind of interested in this card because I feel like people are going to see this and think that it's just too cheap. Because, again, if you compare this to the price on, like, Cancelo Road to the Final, it's, like, literally half the price of Cancelo's Road to the Final, and it's pretty comparable in price to Cancelo's Inform, I believe. So I'm kind of looking at this Ricardo Perea card as something that I'm not really necessarily investing in. I'm, I'm very curious to see if this maybe fluctuates up as people say, yo, I've got Cancelo, but let me try out this um, 
Let me try out this Ricardo Perea card. So I'm wondering if this fluctuates up at least at all into the morning today. You can see he's got some overnights at 240. So maybe if I saw like 210 for this, I would get interested. Um, but again, with the what if cards, I think people are expecting to upgrade SBCs today. So in general, that's almost contradicting what I just said about that Ricardo Perea potential small fluctuation up in price. That's a quick trade though, right? I think what you might see today in the maybe hour or so before content drop is you might see these what if cards from team one and team two, because people are expecting this upgrade SBC anytime you might see some of these get panic sold off a little bit pre-content drop because again, people know that that pack code is out and that SBC could come at any time and it wouldn't make sense for them to drop it after the promo is over. So we're probably expecting that guaranteed what if pack either today, Monday, Tuesday, one of those three days is when I would expect that pack to come out. So uh, in terms of what would happen to these what if cards, again, whenever we get a guaranteed player SBC. It's just like a party bag, right? You see panic selling leading up to it because people panic sell the cards that they think they're going to pack from the SBC. But in reality, you're not going to pack many Smallings, Gomez, uh, Sancho's, or Contes. You're going to be packing Le Melu, Yuri Berchiche, Marcelo, right? From team two, you're going to be packing Pepe and Was and Griffo, not the players that you really want to see. So people panic sell the players they think they're going to pack then they buy them back when they actually don't pack them. So that's again why I was saying watch guys like Sancho and Odegaard and even guys that have guaranteed upgrades like Marcelo, right? Even though he might get packed a little bit, people are still going to buy this up as we get towards Wednesday with that guaranteed upgrade. Uh, and maybe even watch for some panic selling on guys that actually have games today on Sunday. Um, now, maybe a later game like Tottenham Crystal Palace which will be happening after, um, will that be after the content drop? Yeah, this will be after the content drop. Um, you know, you have a couple couple cards that have games today, kind of later, Athletic Bilbao versus Granada. So you have, of course, live item potential, Levante with some goals for Real Sociedad. So if the SBC does come out today, look for some games where you might see some panic selling, but then that player is gonna be playing and have potential to score goals or keep a clean sheet. So the combination of panic selling could be timed just right by buying that player in the panic and then of course selling if people start buying it back when that player is playing the game. So that's a very interesting scenario that we have to watch today with some panic and some potential rebound uh, based on the hype of an upgrade today in FIFA with some of these new what ifs from team uh, one and from team two. So if the guaranteed what if SBC does come out, that would be for team one and team two. So both teams, not just one or the other, that would be for both teams. Now, I wanted to mention one thing really fast. I wanted to mention this Joe Hart SBC. I'm probably, if there are some upgrade packs, I might trade my way to do this SBC, try to flip a couple icons, make a couple trades, make about 150,000 coins, and I will feel comfortable doing this Joe Hart SBC because uh, I kind of want to get this in, right? Six foot five, so he's huge, right? And that could mean he is very OP in game. He's cautious with crosses, um, but of course, a very linkable card and a very popular goalkeeper as well from his days at Manchester City when, of course, uh, this, this Joe Hart SBC is from, I believe. So uh, that's one thing to kind of look out for is just making sure, are you doing the SBCs right now that really benefit your club? Like, is this a plug and play card in your team? And, you know, 170,000 coins is right in that sweet spot for EA where they can really take a lot of coins off the market. That is... You know, the, if we're talking about the guaranteed what if player SBC, it's probably going to be cheaper than 175K. It's probably going to be somewhere around like the 75 to 100K range, which is expensive enough to, to make you lose coins probably, um, but also cheap enough to make you really tempted to do it. And that's for a player SBC where this Joe Hart kind of falls in. I'm doing it because, of course, he's Spurs. And, you know, I kind of like the guy, right? I kind of like the guy. But um, if you like the guy too, then GG's, get him. But there's probably other players on this game, other goalkeepers that you could use that are cheaper, that are, are tradable, that would be better for your club, like Nick Pope, of course, maybe even Ugo Lloris if you need the Spurs links for whatever. Don't know who you'd be linking at center back from Spurs, but, you know, uh, I guess the link Walker is, is a big one. But goalkeepers are always kind of a mystery in FIFA as well. You never know what you're going to get. So that's why it was, it was interesting. Since we haven't had any goalkeepers as a part of the What If promo teams, it was interesting for me to see today that we got a goalkeeper SBC. So that was uh, a very, I guess, interesting thing. I just said that word like 10 times, uh, but that was kind of not what I expected today content-wise on FIFA uh, today. But again, I do want to talk about still 
even though I'm talking about fluctuation trading these cards and I'm talking about the market and being tradable, like be, you're, you're able to trade in it, still a lot of stuff is falling because people have lost coins. A lot of stuff is crashing. Mbappe is back under 700,000 coins. What a ride on the most popular player in this game, right? Down right before team of the year, right? At 800,000 coins. Down here right before team of the year happened and then boom, spiking back up to a million coins and then bang. Now he is down to a basically the lowest price that he has ever been on this console and the lowest that he has ever been on the xbox console as well we knew this was coming right i've been saying this for the past couple of months these prices are going to drop but it's crazy to see the amount of supply and just the amount of drop off these guys have had ronaldo went from a million coins to 1.25 um right after or during uh team of the year dropped off heavily after that and literally has fallen off a cliff 800k for gold ronaldo severely impacted by this 87 rated right wing i know that this sbc being out the cheapest ronaldo ever to grace fifa uh is making this card be cheaper than it has ever been at this stage of the year because there's a, a version that so many casuals already have that they don't have to go buy the gold ronaldo so i do think you still see a lot of sell-off and a lot of prices drop across the market today continue to drop i mean as i look around some of these special the special cards like literally prices are only going lower uh new house 153 is really low 569 for anthony is down 186 for Saka, who was you know 2.5 million coins at one point Bergwijn's about 700k, which is where he's been. You know, 667 for East James, 399 for Subasly is down a lot. Even some of the team of the year cards, right? There's just not as much hype. I think people are more hyped about icon moments and the what if cards than team of the years. Alfonso Davies is back to 1.5. You've got Mbappe is down 300k. Ronaldo is down like 500k from where he was. You've got, of course, some headliner cards. One kind of interesting thing to keep in mind is some of these guys are still on like two or three game win streaks where they're close to getting their upgrade right today spurs the crystal palace my guy hyunmin son um their spurs are on a two game win streak so of course just like with our normal headliner fluctuations don't let those cards fall by the wayside if they haven't got a headliner streak yet there still is potential now of course a guy like holland at 587 is going to be low uh because he just got his streak reset to zero so definitely keep, still keep an eye on some of those cards around this game but if you're trading on the market right now there's two things i want to tell you number one trade with what is hype because that is what people are trying out these new what if cards we talk about that often trade with what is hype and trade with bids, right? Especially when this market is very rare. I'm watching bids all the time. Even cards that you never normally trade with. 100% keep a watch on those. And again, what's gonna start to be hyped this week is Road to the Final. So 100% start keeping your eye on some of the Road to the Final cards. People are already starting to look to getting into buying some of those that have games this week. Um, especially because upgrades for the Champions League Road to the Finals will be coming this week for some items that play, right? Upgrades will be coming for some cards for the games on Tuesday and Wednesday. What, whoever advances on to the next round will be getting an upgrade that Friday, this coming Friday night. So we will have more Road to the Final upgrades. Not many, but we will have a few. So kind of keep that in mind as well but again big day today on sunday right it's our normal upgrade pack day i think they will drop some sort of upgrades maybe an 81 plus double maybe an 80 plus player pick and then i do think there is potential for that what if guaranteed sbc to come out today in fifa so i'm going to be very curious to see if that does come can you invest in fodder let's take a quick check at this uh, SBC fodder, if you're going to invest in it, I would say 83s and 84s are the way to go. And since people are so addicted to these packs, even if SBC fodder is up a little bit in that range, 84s would feel kind of the safest to me, which they are up a bit. Focus on the ones that have good nations and good leagues, the guys that bounce around a ton for SBCs, center backs, um, you know, center mids, the one that, you know, go just look at some 84s graphs, not the most cheapest ones, the ones that move around the most. Those will definitely spike for a guaranteed what if pack. If it's like 100K ish, uh, people will 100% take that gamble because that's just what people are doing right now in FIFA is they're gambling on SBCs, 85 plus player picks or, or 84 plus player picks, 85 times five. You got icon player picks. It's just all about SBCs still right now in FIFA. So I do think that that SBC could come today and those could be the market movements that you see 
because of it. So if this video helped you out at all today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.